So I've been playing a lot of Phasmophobia lately. If you don't know what Phasmophobia is, it's a game where you almost shit yourself the first hour of playing and after a couple of sessions you find yourself running through a house taking pictures of a naked ghost that is trying to kill you. I highly recommend playing it if you're into that kind of stuff. Phasmophobia has a cool feature which allows you to talk to the ghost with your microphone and the Windows 10 voice recognition. For example, you can take the spirit box, which is more like a boring ghost radio, and ask the ghost where are you or how old are you. You should definitely go for the age first before taking the pictures I mentioned before. The ghost then can respond to your question on the spirit box. After a few rounds I asked myself, can I build something similar in Unity? The voice recognition itself is pretty easy to implement, but I wanted to build something that only reacts when it hears its name. In other words, I wanted to build my own in-game Alexa. So I booted up Unity and since I'm one lazy motherfucker, So I booted up Unity and imported the furnished cabin demo scene from Johnny Kasapi from the Asset Store to save myself a bit of time for this tutorial. Thanks Johnny! I don't want my own Alexa being triggered all the time while recording this video, so I had to think about a different name and after a few minutes of coding and two hours of choosing a name, let me introduce you to Karen. Karen? Turn the lights on. I don't want to be part of your stupid YouTube tutorial and I'm tired of listening to you masturbate every morning if you want this room to be brighter why don't you go to the fucking light switch and press it yourself. After a long and deep talk with Karen, we came to the decision to move on in life and meet new people. And that, kids, is how I met Jellybean. Jellybean? Turn the lights on. The text in the bottom left corner indicates if Jellybean is listening or not, and is only built in for showing purposes. Awesome! Now it's time for the tutorial. In order to make everything work, you need to do a couple of things. You have to give Unity the permission to use your microphone. First of all, go to File, Build Settings and switch to the Universal Windows platform. After that, open up the player settings and scroll down to the publishing settings. Under Capabilities, make sure microphone is checked. Close everything and add a cube to the scene. This will be our jelly bean. Add a point light to the cube, set the intensity to zero and position it above the cube. Then add a script to the cube and open it up. To use the voice recognition from Windows, we have to add a using statement on top of our script called unityengine.windows.speech. Next, we add a public light field called light source. This is our reference to the point light we created earlier. Then we need two private fields, one for our keywords and one for our keyword recognizer. Last but not least, we create a private boolean is listening and a coroutine for the attention span of Jellybean. In real life, Alexa has an attention span of around 5 seconds. In our start method, we create our keyword recognizer with our keywords. Afterwards, we need to tell what happens if a phrase got recognized. We'll create that function in a minute. In Phasmophobia, you have to press a button in order to talk. To achieve that, simply put two if statements in the update method. One for input get key down and one for input get key up. In this case, we have to press V in order to talk. In the if statements, then call recognizer.start and recognizer.stop. Now we have to build our onPhraseRecognized method and parse in the phrase recognized event arguments. Then, we check if the recognized phrase was jelly bean and if it's true, we start a coroutine called attention span. This coroutine is responsible for turning jelly bean on and off. Alexa only takes orders after you say its name and this is what we want as well. So we set is listening to true, then we wait for 5 seconds and then we set is listening to false again. 
Back in our on phrase recognized method, we can now check if Jellybean is listening, and if that's true, check for our other keywords. I'm using a switch statement here to check if I told Jellybean to turn the light on or off. But before Jellybean can hit the light switch, we need two more methods that turn our light on and off. If one of our methods gets called, we want to stop our coroutine because that's what Alexa does as well. Also we want to set is listening to false and set the intensity of our light depending on the method. Let's save everything and head back to Unity. The last thing we need to do is to drag our light onto our light source reference in our script. I also changed the main camera position to get a better view of the cube. If we hit play now, it should be possible to toggle the light on and off with the magic of our voice. Jellybean, turn the light on. Jellybean, turn the light off. Now you never have to walk to your in-game light switch to turn your in-game light on again. This is just a small example of what's possible. You could also turn your in-game radio on and off or control your in-game sex doll with that script. I'm still a beginner when it comes to game development and I think there are a lot of ways to achieve what I just showed you. And probably those ways are even better than mine. But if you still found my video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel as there will be more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.